Hi, Boni sir. Welcome to News 18. Hi, Titash. <laughs> How are you? Pleasure being here with you. Absolutely. I am fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us to your lovely office. This is your legacy uh, before which we are sitting. Yeah, and some of it. There's, there's yeah, there's more. more. Yeah. There's more. Okay. So, Maidan is about to hit the screens very soon. Uh, it, it was, I'm sure, you know, difficult to put the film together. There were, you know, the film suffered delays. There was a pandemic. Then there was the Mumbai cyclone, you know, which destroyed the set. Uh, the the female lead had to be replaced. Finally, after all of that, now that the film is all set, and to the be VFX, watched, most important, VFX. VFX, of course. Are you have you heaved a sigh of relief now? Ki finally, picture tayar hai. Well, I was never anxious or never nervous or never really unnecessarily concerned. Of course, there hmm. used to be this pressure. Okay, when will it all get over? But there was no tension as such. Okay. It used to come and go. It never remained. Hmm. Sometimes I would think about it. Then I would say, I'll So kuch tension as a carried forward. It would come and go. Right. I mean, I was speaking to uh, the director, Mr. Amit Sharma. And uh, you know, he said that, you know, of course, see, when a film gets delayed beyond what you anticipate, the producers tend to bleed. You know, of course, financially, money-wise. Uh, did that really never, you know, take a toll on you? Or, you know, have you become, like, say, developed a thick skin over time? Well, I won't say thick skin, but I have got used to uh -huh. these kind of eventualities. Hmm. And I take it in my stride and I try to, you know, face the challenge. Yeah. So, it's been a good ride. I've been through my journey. There's been ups, there have been downs. Ups and downs are more interesting journey than a flat curve. Yeah. Have you ever, do you ever sit down sometimes here? Because, you know, when you look at all these films, have you, do you ever walk down the memory lane sometimes and think of, you know, the downs that you have experienced and how it has made you stronger? Well, I don't have to go through the memory lane to, to realize that they've made me stronger. Mm -hmm. I, I'm basically, my DNA is strong enough, you know. Okay. I have, I'm the eldest of the family. I have grown up in an environment where my father had a lot of trust in me, hmm. where I had a lot of support of my brothers. Hmm. And uh, of course, my children, my wives, I would say, uh, you know, Sri was a great support. And while I lived with Mona Iman, she was a very understanding uh, wife who understood my love for Sri. Hmm. Uh, you know, since you spoke about your children, sometimes does the producer in you, the father in you rather, overpower the producer in you, wherein you tend to think, let me, you know, cast my children in my films. I mean, you have done that, but does it all the time come into your mind? No, it doesn't. Okay. Because I believe I'm an honest producer and I give the casting right to the director. Okay. The final right is his. I may suggest a, B, C, D, I mean various aspects of filmmaking, what I feel could also be done. Hmm. Because I have my own experience too. But when I have chosen somebody to direct a film, so I must respect him as a director. Hmm. But you know, since you are a senior person, so sometimes... Do the Seniority makers... doesn't make me a uh, Hitler or a... <laughs> no, you know, no, of course. It doesn't give me the right to veto anything. No, what, what if the director comes to you and asks for your suggestion? Then? I, I am open to that and I give my suggestion as, as and when required. I, my, my job is basically just to see that, you know, I choose the script, I choose the director and the rest of it, we become a team, the director and we become a team. Hmm. But the final call remains with him. Okay. I will give him my opinion and sometimes very strongly. But again, the final choice is, call is his. Yeah. Either I convince him or he convinces me. Yeah. So, uh, do these conversations ever happen at home wherein your children, let's say Arjun for instance, coming to you and telling you that dad, you know, I really like the script that you are working on. Why don't you try me out? Well, this kind of a situation has never arisen. Okay. He just, I mean, there is never a thing that he will come and ask me. Hmm. He knows what is there with me or what is mine as his. Hmm. So, like, 
when I did Tevar, it was his choice to do that film. Yeah. I had bought, I had other rights too. Hmm. Now again, I'm doing a couple of films with him. Oh. One is no entry and there's another solo hero film, which I like the subject. I made him hear it. He liked it too. And we're working on that as well. Yeah. Same thing with Kushi. Same thing with Janvi. Hmm. With Kushi, it has not reached a stage where, I told, where I've told her, I've got a subject with you. Hmm. But she's there in my mind. Janvi is there in my mind and I have a subject for Janvi too. Hmm. So let's see. I mean, I don't want to push myself where their, their career trajectory is concerned hmm. because what they decide what would be good for them is always better than what I could decide for them in today's times. Right. My experience is there. Hmm. I can tell them what is right or wrong, but they, I should respect their intuition hmm. unless I strongly feel what they're doing is wrong. There okay. have been occasions where I've, I have struck down their uh, opinions and there have been occasions where they have, they have convinced me, no, that what they are thinking is right. Okay. But does this constant chatter about nepotism annoy you for the lack of a better word? No, it doesn't annoy me because I feel... Because if you take your See, this is, children this is, in your this film... Is, this is something which has just come about in the last few, few years. years. So, I'm not affected by it and I'm not really, I mean, I, I don't, it, I don't, it, it's something which probably doesn't have any kind of a thought process going in my mind. doctor ka beta doctor ho sakta hai, businessman ka beta businessman ho sakta hai, lawyer ka beta lawyer ho sakta hai, to producer ka beta bhi producer ho sakta hai, actor ka beta bhi actor ho sakta hai. Koi aisa hai, मुझे एक्चुअली इसका मतलब भी क्या है मेरे को ज्यादा मालूम नहीं है अब पॉलिटिशियंस के कितने पॉलिटिशियंस हैं जिनके बेटे भी पॉलिटिक्स में गए हैं पर आई मीन आई आई टेक इट वेरी आई मीन इट्स समथिंग व्हिच इज गॉट टू बी टेकन विद अ पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट आई फील इट इज देयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड टुडे दिस इन दिस डोमेन टुडे देयर इज दिस टॉक ऑफ नेपोटिज्म व्हिच इज प्रोबेबली फॉर द पास्ट 7 8 10 इयर्स एट द मोस्ट या या दस साल पहले तो कोई नेपोटिज्म था नहीं द बेरेमोर फैमिली में कितने लोग थे कपूर फैमिली में कितने लोग थे राइट फ्रॉम Prithvi Raj Kapoor, Raj Kapoor, Shami Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor, Randir Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor, Ranbir Kapoor, Karina Kapoor, Karishma Kapoor, Neetu, I mean, so in our country, there are also people in our country. Every son of Shakti Samantha was also a director. Pramod Chakravati was also a producer, a picture was also in Bengali and Tamil. I mean, you name most of the film families try to remain in film because they've grown up hearing filmmaking and seeing films. Mm -hmm. So most of them probably would be more inclined towards that. It is not that sure. just because my father was a producer, sure. I will be a producer. Yeah. Yeah, andar bhi kuch hona so why stop yourself and why stop anybody else? Mm -hmm. And it is not necessary just because you are a superstar son or a star son, you will be as successful as your father or as your mother. Mm -hmm. You probably get an entry, you mm -hmm. get a foot in. Mm -hmm. But finally, it's your talent and your luck which will make you successful or a big star. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason I asked you because is that tomorrow if you choose to produce or direct a film for your children, there again might be conversations on social media where people say, oh, he's trying to push his children. See, I began my career making films with yeah. Anil. Yeah. I mean, my first film was Ham Panch hmm. without where Anil was with me. Hmm. I mean, he helped me in production. Right. Then Wo Saad Din, where he was launched. So he remained, I mean, he was my brother then. <laughs> and remained my brother today. Hmm. Similarly, Wo Saad Din ke baad mene Mr. India banai uske saad, uske baad mene Lofar banai, Judai banai, sab film mein Bewafa banai, No Entry banai. Mana tha ke Sanjay ke saad sirf tum banai, koi mere dil se banai, shakti banai. कोई ऐसा मतलब ये था नहीं फिर मैंने औरों के साथ भी काम किया सलमान के साथ भी किया है शाहरुख के साथ भी किया है नाना पाटेकर के साथ भी किया है तमिल में अजीत के साथ किया है उदय निधि स्टैलेंट के साथ किया है तेलुगु में पवन कल्याण के साथ किया है फिर उससे पहले रामगोपाल वर्मा के साथ मैंने तीन फिल्में बनाई हैं जिसमें अजय देवगन भी था और विवेक ओबरा भी था हाँ विवेक ओबरा के साथ क्यों हो गए ना भी हमने मतलब बनाई थी पिक्चर तो ऐसा कुछ इट्स नेवर हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल विद मी के आई हैव टू कास्ट माई चिल्ड्रन ओन डी it all depends on what kind of subject hmm. I'm working on and who suits the part the best. Right. And that choice depends on, I mean, the director decides, hmm, hmm, hmm. not me. Not you, not you. 
Uh, I can suggest, but I will never put my foot down. But was there, sir, ever a conversation with, you know, uh, let's say, uh, Mona ma'am or Sri Devi ma'am when it came to launching your children? Did you ever sit down and have a conversation? I think we shouldn't launch them, let them carve their own careers first. No, we never had this conversation. Okay. In fact, I separated from Mona ji when Arjun and Anshulab were very young. Okay. They were yet in school. And with three, she never wanted any of the daughters to become actors. She was imagining that when we were married, we would go to the marriage of someone. We would think that we would do the marriage of Janvi. We would get something like that. We would never think that we would make a hero or do this. So, it was like that one day, we thought that we would become a doctor, we would become something else. Suddenly, one day, my mother would come and say, I would like to do acting. So, this is when the drug happened. Yeah. Then he said, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. जो ऑडिशन किया था मुझे नहीं भेजा था पहले उसने रेखा जी को भेजा था भेजा था तो रेखा जी ने मुझे मतलब बताया कि ये छोटी भी एक्टिंग करना चाहती है देन आई टू कट न्यूयॉर्क एंड शी वाज इन न्यूयॉर्क फिल्म एकेडमी ओके सो दिस ऑडिशन वाज इट फॉर अ सर्टेन फिल्म नो ऑडिशन फॉर द एडमिशन इन Going back. There, you know, they will accept students after they pass the audition. Right, right. Okay, so uh, going back to again my conversation with Mr. Amit Sharma. And where Arjun is concerned, yeah. it was never in my mind. See, I may have separated from Mona, but it was never in my mind that Arjun wants to become an actor. It was Salman who called me up and said, Ki, Moni sir, he is an actor. He is an actor. He is an actor. He I will, I mean, he took it upon himself to see that he, mm -hmm. and he made him lose weight. Imagine that time he was a very healthy child. So I would give credit to Salman where Arjun is concerned. Whatever said and done today, maybe they're not on a good, good. Uh, I mean, the equation is not that good. But he, he, he gave him his best and whatever Arjun's growth really was influenced by a lot by hmm, hmm. Salman, where his outlook to acting is concerned, his outlook to film is con films are concerned. Hmm, hmm. Plus, he shaped up his, I mean, he gave him, uh, rather inculcated in him hmm. the importance of having a good body. Right, right. Now, Arjun, when he was doing weight loss, he said, I have said, 100 kilo is less. I said, 100 kilo is less. I said, 40 kilo is less, 20 kilo is less. 40 kilo is less, 20 kilo is less. So, in total, he has 100 kilo is less. Yes. Yeah. So this was his way of telling me that he is working hard and definitely, I mean, I could see the result. Mm -hmm. Has that altered your equation with Salman today, the fact that they are not on no, the same page? No, that has not page? altered my. See, he, okay. I still love him. Hmm. I still feel that there are very few like him. Hmm. Whereas, you know, big hearted, warm hearted, and there's a lot of respect that he gives me and I love him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has your family watched Maidan yet? Yes. And, and what's the feedback like? Well, my family has loved the film. And this I say, see for instance, when Arjun saw the film for the first time, mm. he said, Dad, it's a little too lengthy and this is not there. So direct Amit told him, it is there, it is there, this is coming, this is coming. It's in post, it's in VFX and all that. Mm. So we've had that conversation, then I've shown it to Janvi also while it was in the making. I've shown it to Arjun, I've shown it to Anshala. Kushi has seen it. Hmm. They've seen the rush print, they've seen the merit print. Hmm. And I'm happy, I'm glad that they all have liked it. Yes. Are you all harsh critiques of each other's work? Well, you see, finally one has to be harsh. Hmm. But initially you've got to you know manage things to convey in a very, you know, you go to soft pedal the, hmm. the suggestions. Yeah. And are you also the father who, apart from giving inputs on their work, also sort of tells them, you know, how to go about their personal life? Do you, I, do you give suggestions about, ki, you know, your boyfriend shouldn't be like him or your girlfriend shouldn't be like him, her? Well, thankfully not because okay. they know, you see, it's a, some, this is their personal life. I hmm. can talk to them just once or twice hmm. of what I feel. Hmm. After that, you see, today's children mature much 
soon or much faster than what we used to as children. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you can't push them into thinking or into towing your line. They have their own mind. Mm -hmm. And today the world has shrunk. Mm -hmm. Unlike in our times, when it took time for the world to grow in our minds. Yeah. Now it's all there in the open. So, aisa kuch hai nahi. Na aisi situation kuch aayi ke mujhe kuch drill karna pade unme. Haan, definitely. I have resented a few situations in their relationships. I have. But at the same time, I've asked them to handle it on their own. Hmm. So, it's been that way. Yeah. To all three. To Arjun also, to Janvi also, to Kushi also. And Anshula also maybe. And Anshula also. Anshula, yeah. well, of course, Anshula is the genius of the family. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, I would want her to be my support system, but she's busy with her own activity. She's earning on her own, doing all sorts of good things, which mm. I, I mean, I get flattered whenever pe- I hear that she's so fabulous. She's done this good, that good, this good. Yeah. So, it And now she's finally, she has fallen in love with her own self. Yes. Which is a great aspect, which is great. Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you know, today the equation among the four of them is so much better than what it used to be. It is uh, not so much better. It is the ultimate. It's the ultimate. You, you know, how do you feel like when you sit with the four of them? Let's say it's a Sunday lunch with all the children. No, no, we've been on holidays together. We had been to Singapore to celebrate yeah. uh, Anshula's birthday. We were in London sometime back, all four of us. Of course, Arjun was there for just two, three days. Mm. We've traveled together on a few occasions. Yeah. And... Uh, how does it feel to see everything in place finally, what you always wanted? Obviously good, I feel. I feel, I mean, my world is with me. Yeah, right. Sir, you recently said something that I think got a little blown out of proportion about, you know, why Mr. Anil Kapoor is not a part of no entry. When you have actors in your family and you cannot take them in a project for whatever reason, does that strain sometimes personal relationships? See, Aisa kuch nahi hai. See, we are brothers and we love each other. Hmm. It was just off the cuff remark because yesterday there were some people who were interviewing me and yesterday only in midday there was this feature on No Entry 2 with all these names. And they asked me, how has Anil reacted? I said, he's upset with me. Hmm. He's not talking to me. If I had to be honest, I just can't. But at the same time, I know maybe in times to come, ek mahina lagega, ek hafta lagega, do hafta lagega, teen. Well, blood is thicker than water and, hmm. and we, we've been very, very close. I love him too dearly. I, I just can't do anything to hurt him. This, this is something professional. Hmm. You see, I've got to follow the dictat or, dictat or rather the, as I told you, it is the director who calls the shots. Hmm. So, I mean, I will continue making films when the role is right, when the script is there. He would be my first choice if, if the role suits him. Hmm. I love him too dearly too. To remain upset, I mean, I'm not upset today, he's he upset, is. but I will work my way to see that he he, he, he gets back to normal. Did, did you try talking to him knowing that he's upset? Yeah, I made a few calls, but it's okay, I'll okay. give him some time. These right. things happen, you see, every, I'm sure, I'm sure. see, you have uh, these ups and downs amongst the people you love the most. Mm-hmm. Husband and wife have their own quarrels, friends have their own quarrels, brothers also have their own Issues. Mm-hmm. No quarrel. This is not a quarrel. Issue. Hai. Issues. Husband, wife, ka bhi hota hai. To ye, they get resolved over time. Mm-hmm. And it's too dear to me to. I mean, I'll make an effort to see that he's back again talking to me and all that, and it'll be fine. Yeah. This has been blown out of but the big man innocently baat ki bhai, kisi ne pucha, jaise aap puch rahe ho, ki no enter me Anil nahi hai, to Anil ka kya reaction tha? To bhai, spontaneously bol diya bhai, he's upset with me, he didn't, mm-hmm. he's not talking to me. So, <laughs> that headline is made. So, I really can't help it. Yeah. I, it was just a very honest you know, reaction. reaction. Spontaneous true, honest true. reaction. Yeah. Now, okay. Okay, you said to me, I remember once, that you know, there's a huge demand for, the, for two sequels. One is, of course, Mr. India and the other happens to be Wanted. Has there been any work on both fronts? Well, Wanted, I've spoken to Salman. I don't know when that will happen, but he, 
he has committed to me that he will do it okay. whenever I decide to do it, whenever I get the right script. Hmm. This is the last conversation I had when I had gone to him to tell him, inform him that I am going ahead with no entry with a fresh star cast. Hmm. And that's the time I had told him that I will make Wanted. Would you be part of it? And he had said yes. Hmm. So I have an idea, I've got to develop it. So one day that will happen. And I hope it happens sooner than later. Yeah. And Mr. India just about a few, I mean, I've had a couple of meetings with a big overseas studio hmm. who are very keen to join hands with us. There could be a collaboration of the foreign studio Z and me to do Mr. India. It may not be a sequel, it could just be a reboot hmm. or whatever. But the idea is to make Mr. India again. Yes. It could happen this year, it could happen next year, it could happen the following year. You know, the, this kind of film cannot be planned in a jiffy. I'm sure, yeah. You know, not to disregard any other actors who were there in the film, but I think Sri Devi Ma'am was the beating heart of Mr. India. And she you know, was. Yeah. She was, and so was, I mean, all the actors yeah, today. Yeah. Then, why is it I, is it an iconic film? Because mm -hmm. of, I would say, Satish Kaushik playing Calendar, yeah. Amrish Puri playing Mogambo, Anil playing Arun Verma, who's taking care of the children, and mm -hmm. Sri playing Seema, the reporter. Mm -hmm. In fact, even Anu Kapoor, yeah. who was the editor in the film. So these are, it's not just the film which is iconic. Hmm. It's these characters, the lines, Mogambo Khushua, you know, editor ke pure, these are, you know, yeah. Javed Saab's work, it was a Salim Javed script, but basically all the, the rewriting was done by Javed Saab. Hmm. The dialogues were done by Javed Saab. Yeah. So, and plus the music, Kaatane Katte, Yedine Yaraat, Hava Hawaii. So to outdo that would be a big task. But let's see, we'll make an attempt. Do you have plans, sir, of uh, making a biopic on Sri Devi, ma'am? Because you knew no, her no, so closely. No, no, no. Any reason? No reason. I don't, you know, it's too personal. I wouldn't yeah. want uh, this to get into public domain. Why? You know, and she was, she was not the side. She was, she was not, she was a very introvert person. Yeah, very private. You know, very yeah. private. So, I mean, it would be, I mean, I wouldn't be doing justice to her just because she's not there. I do a, I do or I ask somebody to mm. do a biopic or mm. somebody does it and I'm part of it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, In fact, people have approached me for my biopic. Really? Yeah. And <laughs> what was your reaction like? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about your acting plans now? We have seen you in Tu Juti Mai Makkar. Do you want and to do what about AK versus AK? I preferred myself in AK versus AK because I had a lot of freedom to do what I wanted to do. Huh. In AK was it, in Tu Juti Makkar, I was restricted by these 12, 14 actors constantly surrounded by me. Hmm. And I had to, if I was like this, no one would say, this hand is not like this, this hand is not like this, this line would say, this line would say, this line would say, this line would say, this word would say, I would forget. I mean, you would say, no, you would say with that word. So there were too many things which were thrusted on me hmm. and a natural actor, a spontaneous actor cannot be thrusted with lines and, you know, the actions. And be told all, yeah. all the time what to do. So I am a, I have got a flair, I am a natural actor. Leave me alone and I will <laughs> deliver. Lovely. As I did in AK versus AK in that one scene. Hmm. No, I think you should do a little more acting. Well, then try and get me a producer, get me a director who can work <laughs> okay. with me. Okay, okay, last one. Maidan is of course releasing along with another big film, uh, Bade Mia, Chote Mia. Has there been any conversations with the actors of the other film or the makers? Did you want a solo release for Maidan? Obviously, you know, uh, each producer would want, any producer would want a hmm. solo release. But unfortunately for me, my film has been delayed for a long time. Hmm. And I didn't want to take it any further because you see, I knew the IPL will gain momentum, there are elections coming. Mm. So I wanted to cash it onto a period where, you know, the initial days of IPL are not that, uh, the craze is not that much. It is there, but not to this mm. extent. Mm. And of course, once the election momentum starts, all the, you know, chatter around the globe, or rather our, in our subcontinent would be about the elections. Yeah. So this is the right time and uh, uh, Jackie did speak to me, Vashu's son, and I said, Beta, I can't help it, you know. And then this is a big date, festivals can accommodate two, three films. In fact, I remember in 
in the early days also bidai roti roti kapna makan released on the same day oh and all three of us blockbusters and why go that far even recently animal and sambadu was released on the same day oh my god and uh, pathan or pathan pathan or nahi jawan gadar 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 sorry gadar. ha so okay. aisa kuch nahi hai ki bhai there there's enough you know today we've got enough screens to handle two pictures and hmm. so it's okay it's okay yeah well um, all the best to you thank you uh, maidan was born out of a lot of you know love sweat blood i'm sure and uh, he was hoping it does really well and looking forward to what you bring to us next both in the capacity of a producer and an actor well i'm looking forward myself too thank you thank you so much sir thank you for having a good chat with me and i hope to meet you again soon yes absolutely thank you